Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. What's up, guys? Okay, I have some more info. A lot of you might like this because if this works, we will not have to cut the bug body in half. Um, one thing I want to clear up real quick, several of you commented, like, you know, why didn't you guys just measure? I'm not saying this to bring to light those comments because it appears as though we did not measure. So basically the measurement of the MR2 on Google side to side was 67. Um, the measurement on Google for the bug was like 50, something like that. So we knew the, I mean, we knew it was off significantly. What we did not know is how much of that Google measurement of the MR2 was aesthetics, you know, like maybe the fender was wider than the door or how much of the side of the chassis we could cut into. Like we didn't know what we could take off. Same with the bug, there's some metal that we could take off even still. So we didn't go into this project thinking, oh, everything's gonna work perfectly, let's do it. We went into the project thinking, if this works, this is going to be really cool. Let's make this happen. So this by no means was a direct science idea where we're just like, oh, we'll do this and it'll do that. No, it was like, if this works, this will be cool. Let's make it happen. So that's kind of the the uh, the attitude that we went into this project with. So I did some more measuring. I've been thinking about this a lot. I've had the opportunity to stare at it for, I'm not kidding, like probably six hours between two days, I've just stared and measured and stared and measured, and I've come up with this. Okay, so what we got going is from this pinch, I think these are called pinch welds, I'm calling them pinch welds. From this point to the point on the other side, the pinch weld on the other side, it's 54 inches. From this pinch weld to the pinch weld on the other side is, or spot weld strip, I don't know, whatever, I'm calling them pinch welds. From here to the other side is 56 inches. So, here on, so obviously the front of the bug is tapered compared to the rear, so the front skin here. So from that inner point to that inner point is 39, almost on the dot. And then on the rear, I measured, let me just show you right quick. I measured right here, because that's past the, uh, once we get past the door, we can cut into this a little more as long as you don't hit the skin, right? So from here, to the other side. And the other side's all rusted out, so this might benefit cutting all that off anyways. So from there to there, it's 53 inches. So in the rear, we only have three inches total that we need to widen it. And then up here, we have, what, what did I say, 54, 39. Well then up here, we can take about two to two and a half inches off of this. Okay, so that's five, 44, so 10 inches total up here that we need to widen it, right? So then, if we go back over here. Okay, so that means from this pinch weld, roughly, we need to go in about five inches, right? So that line on this side about is here-ish. So what I'm thinking is if we cut along this line, basically, okay? We'll still have, we're not gonna really mess up, like the structure is gonna be gone, but hang with me. So if we cut on this line and then plate it and then reinforce it afterwards, we'll, we'll get this nice and strong yet. If we cut on this line, that's about two inches in um, at the bottom here, that's about two inches, okay? Um, so two inches, so that makes us 50 and we have 44. So we only need three inches wider on the front. This is where the stupid part of the idea comes into play. Okay, so at this point, the bug is pretty flimsy, right? So, and I know this is a stupid idea, so don't tell me it's a stupid idea. I'm already there with you, okay? But hear me out. So if we cut uh, about here-ish and maybe there and then maybe here and here. And by cutting, I just mean like put a little slot, right? If we can get this entire side and that entire side to basically pivot separately 
from the roof to an extent. We might even cut a couple random little slots in the roof on this body line. Just cut, take the cutoff wheel and just go zoot, zoot, zoot. Okay, if we can get this to pivot like such and we can pull the bottom out three inches on each side, we will be able to put the bug body on without cutting it in half. This also means the minimal amount here that's gonna move, we might be able to retain the stock glass, which would be nice because either we're gonna have to run plexiglass or buy thousands of dollars in custom made windshields. So what I'm basically just, want, okay, and think of it like if you fold a piece of paper into a triangle, okay, we're folded straight. Say you fold it out and make a little pyramid, right? The bottom moves about three inches the top only moves like a quarter inch, right? So just imagine imagine this is the bug body. If we move it out like that, the, the top almost stays the same. So I think, and I know this is stupid, but I think if we can cut enough stress points out on this and get this to pivot separately, but all together, we won't affect the door opening and closing. Up here might get a little funky, but we will be able to put it on the MR2. So we'll cut, you know, and I'll do some final measuring before we do this, but we'll cut into this and then get, uh, where is it? I have like thick, like four inch tall flat stock that we can butt up to that and then later maybe bend a bar and then weld that to the flat stock and just really restructure this. But if we can do that, and slag the bug body on, I think that'll work. The other thing to consider as far as taking the structure away from that, the plan with this is we're not gonna be able to remove the body. So if we cut, if we cut that off and then put a flat plate on that entire thing and then weld this to the MR2, this body's gonna bring back structure to the MR2 as well. Cause we'll, you know, we'll restructure up here. This is solid. The back's pretty flimsy so we can do a couple cross like crossbars and make this rigid er and then combining this with the MR2 it should kind of bring back what we've cut off of both vehicles by combining the two of them together so that's kind of what I'm thinking is going to be the best route without cutting it in half <laughs> I was thinking about this a lot and the original plan was to just cut the inside of the bug leave this, clean it up, plate it, and then we we're going to have to stretch it like five inches on the side. And I thought that's probably going to cause some issues, but if we can narrow it down to about two or three inches on each side, it might work. I didn't want it to look like a cambered, the whole body to look like a cambered wheel, but if we can minimize the amount that we have to widen it, it might work. The rear we'd, we'd hardly need to widen at all. Like that's the amount that we have to widen in the front is gonna be way more than we need to in the rear, so the rear is fine. If, basically, if we can just get the front to fit, we're good. Um, shock towers and stuff are kind of pushing it. I'm not worried about that, because worst case scenario, I mean, we could cut, this is way thinking ahead, but we could literally cut this whole piece off, we could literally slide it up a little bit, weld it back on, fender, whatever. Like this, this body, at least in the near future, is never gonna be perfect ever again, so, at this point, we might as well just figure out how to make it fit and how to make it look decent. Make sure that what we're doing is fixable down the road and we are able to make it nice down the road. But for right now, if we can just get it to look like a crummy old bug, but underneath is the modern suspension and everything of an MR2 with the power of a K-Series and a turbo, that's what we want. So, um, Unfortunately, no one's here to help me, and this all requires me to pick the bug body off and start moving the stuff around. So I'm going to wait till someone shows up and uh, start doing some real measuring and see what happens. But I, I, I think this could work. I really do. So um, let me know what you think. We're going to find out soon enough. Uh, it turns out no one is coming to the shop to help me, so I was not going to make this a video, but we're not going to have updates for you whether or not this is going to work or not, at least till tomorrow. So for the time being, ponder this and comment. Like, this is a good one. You guys have been given really good opinions, many of which have just been, don't cut it in half, or you're stupid, or why didn't you measure? But 
some of them have been good comments. Um, so I think this idea does have potential. I do agree and think that it is a stupid idea, but it might work. So um, until someone is here to help me, which should be tomorrow, um, I'm just going to put this up just so I can get some opinions and kind of get some feedback. Because there, there are a lot of times, whether you guys say something, like have an idea directly that's different, or you say something Sometimes it takes my mind down a different road and I come up with another idea, whether it's yours directly or I take part of your idea and mix it in with whatever's going on up here. They, Your comments really do help. So just for the time being, until someone is here to help me, um, let me know what you think. Let me know, you know what might be a better idea or just whatever. Let me know what you think. Tell me, don't tell me I'm stupid because I'm already aware that this is kind of a bad idea. But um that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So uh, tomorrow, hopefully we'll have some sort of progress. And uh, something I didn't mention is worst case scenario, if this does not work, we can just literally go back to cutting the bug body in half or back at square one. Um, whatever we're going to cut off on the MR2, it'll just be that much less. We need to widen the bug. We can still reinforce it. So we're not, we're not really losing anything other than time. So let me know what you think. Uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, I'm sorry, this part is a little slow. We're going to really start picking up momentum in a minute. So, um, yeah, we'll see you hopefully in a couple days.